right, let's talk about adding decimals. And again, a lot of you were probably told to line up your decimals, and that's not really what's happening here. I mean, it happens by accident, but what you're really doing is lining up common units. So you have thousandths together, hundredths together, tenths together, and ones together. And by default, your decimals lined up. It would kind of be like if you were adding four days, three hours, and say 22 minutes, plus two days, uh, let's see, 10 hours, and say 48 minutes, you would want to line up your units. So you want minutes with minutes, hours with hours, days with days. And then if you have too many minutes, right, like if you add and you surpass 60, then you have to regroup into an hour. All right, and then if you hit 24 hours, then you have to regroup into a day. But you're lining up units that match. And by default, the decimal just kind of goes along for the right. All right, so if we do the traditional algorithm, sometimes teachers will say to put a zero there, you get a nine, seven plus three is 10. So again, zero with one regrouping, you get 12 and you get 13, again, enough to regroup, and then you get six. All right. So let's think about what's happening here with, let's do base 10 blocks. So base 10 blocks, I like to make the smallest thing my single. So I look at both numbers. Oopsie, just a second, I'm gonna pause. All right, sorry about that. So I had to answer the door. Um, so I like to make my smallest uh, single into my smallest unit. So here I have tenths and hundredths. Here I have tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So I am going to let my single be a thousand. I'm going to try to get a better angle for you there. All right, so with base 10 blocks, remember adding, you draw both pictures and then you combine them. So I am going to start out with nine singles. I'm just going to use dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that means my next unit up would be long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are going to be hundredths, which means I flats are my tenths. And then that means my cube is my whole number. And remember, those are not set in stone. They can take on different values depending on how many place values and so forth you have. All right, so then over here, you know, be careful. I have zero of the thousands. And see how these are three hundredths? So I have three hundredths, one, two, three. I have eight tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, sorry just on autopilot this morning, and then I have two holes. And again, when you draw the picture, you should, you know, you should be able to kind of see where, you know, the one number is and see where the other number is. All right, I'm going to have to pause again. I apologize. Oh my, I am so sorry this video is going to be a little choppy, but we have construction workers in, we ha in our house and we have, um, my sister had a surgical procedure, so they have to call to pick her up. And it's like, oh my, it's like the doorbell's ringing, the phone's ringing, crazy. All right, so let's go back. So I built the first number, I built the second number. Okay, so with base 10 blocks, I would, you know, I can't regroup these, right? So I'm not even gonna draw a circle. So there's not enough to regroup. So I have nine singles. And then when I look at the longs, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a perfect amount. So I am going to regroup into a new one. So regroup into a new one right there. Okay, and notice there's no longs left. So I have zero longs left. And then when I look at my flats, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so five by two is 10, and I'm going to regroup and make a new cube. All right, and then there's what? One, two, three left there, so three flats left. And then I have three, four, five, six cubes. And so again, with base 10 numbers, this, picture could represent a lot of things. I mean, it could be 6,309 if we're doing whole numbers. So, I mean, this this is a place value system in base 10. So it's what is the value of each of these places? Well, we let our little singles to be thousands. So these are going to be thousands, hundreds, tenths, and ones. And so I know my decimal goes right there because these are thousands, so they must go in the thousands place. These are hundreds, they must go in the hundreds place. These are 
tenths must go in the tenths place, and these are ones, and so I need to go there, okay? All right, so that's how I do it with base 10 blocks. Um, let's see, what else can we do? So let's look at some, um, I guess, other methods that maybe we could use. So let's see, I don't know if we can break these into friendly numbers very well. Maybe not bad, actually. Um, I could do three point, um, let's see, I want to take away 0.17, are you okay? If I, if I add 17 cents to this, I get three. So if I take point, let's see, what is it? 17 hundredths away from that, I would get 0 0.309. Is that right? Let me double check my math. So the nine would still be there. The seven would be a zero. And then, yeah. So if I add these together, everyone, okay, it equals that. So, and again, I can kind of see that because 83 cents, if I make it 90 cents with 10 pennies, I know I'm going to regroup and get that dollar. So it's kind of like I'm adding up over here and then I'm kind of taking away over here to make it work. So then do you see how these are friendly numbers? So together these make three. So then I can just get, you know, 6.309 here. So six and 309,000. So, so you can still break apart or decompose and make some friendly numbers. Uh, let's see about rounding. What does that look like on this guy? And again, maybe, you know, some methods work better for others. I could just round this up to three. All right, so let's add it to, let's just add three. But then I added what? I added 17 cents too much because I made this 17 cents higher than it was supposed to be. So now I need to subtract that 17 hundredths that I added. So 903.6, okay. Um, so again, there's probably some other methods you could do too, but that's, um, you know, kind of a good way to do that. I suppose kids could do a place value chart. So instead we would have ones, tenths, hundredths, and then thousandths. All right, and so then we would have three, four, seven, nine, and then we'd have two, eight, three. And so they could just add down every column, and then they could start over here and be like, the nine is fine. This 10 needs to be a zero with a regrouping, so we'll make that 13. That 13 needs to be a three with a regrouping, so that becomes a six. And then they can look at their place value table and say, ooh, these are my ones and these are my tens, so my decimal has to go right about there. So any of the methods that we used for adding with whole numbers are possibilities. It doesn't mean they're all going to be great, but um, you know, here I decomposed or broke a number apart. Here I rounded with compensation. Here I made a base 10 chart. So again, depending on your numbers, um, you know, there might be different methods that you like for different problems. All right, I hope that helps with adding decimals and I will make another video, uh, one more on subtracting decimals. So here you go.